Welcome back to Garage Tours. I'm your host Chris Forsberg and this week we head out to meet up with Bryce Menzies in Las Vegas. Bryce runs a top tier off-road racing program in both short course racing and desert racing. We just arrived in Las Vegas, Nevada to meet up with Bryce Menzies. His trucks are absolute beasts and it'll be really cool to see what these things are made of. Bryce. What's happening? How you doing, man? Thanks for having me. Yeah, for sure. Our shop's a little crazy right now, but uh, okay. let me show you around it. So kind of what we got in this area is pretty much mm -hmm. our fab area. So mm -hmm. this is kind of where we build all of our chassis in-house. So you is... build these chassis actually here in the shop? Yes, awesome. we build everything from the ground up. We have a guy, Mike Craven, who designs them on the computer. Uh -huh. We'll CAD everything, um, get every tube laser cut sent here. Wow. And then uh, we just have the guys pretty much put them together piece by piece and weld them up. So how many hours would you say goes into putting one of these chassis together? Yeah, I mean, kind of once we get the material and everything in-house and set up, I mean, the guys usually spend about two weeks getting the whole okay. frame put together, welded up guys? properly. Um, usually we only have two guys working okay. on the building process of the trucks, and then we have more guys on the other side prepping uh, the trucks that we race. So it's a single seat, the motor's right in the middle, right to the right of you. Uh, just a turbo 400 transmission. This thing puts out about 800 and 80 horsepower around there. That'll do it. Um, putting the two wheels on dirt, so it's a, it's a handful, but it's a lot of fun to drive. I bet. So you saw the truck that was uh, tube chassis, and this is pretty much a complete truck that we're prepping yep. um, just to get ready for our next race in about two weeks. So you guys tear them down like this before every race? Pretty much after every race, we'll rip the whole truck down to the chassis, nice. um, take everything off, make sure there's no cracks, nothing's broken, and then uh, put it back together. I'd imagine there's uh, a lot of damage uh, going wheel to wheel like that. Yeah, I mean, what we do with these, we race on a track that's a mile long. So some of the things on this truck, we got you know rear-mounted uh, radiators, oil coolers, uh, the fuel cells back here, we try to get as much weight as we can behind the truck for traction wise. Got and uh, we got these Fox shocks on here, 18 inches of travel that uh, you know makes it smooth for us when we're landing off 100 foot jumps <laughs> and uh, also landing on other trucks sometimes. <laughs> nice, yeah, so you got uh, some battle damage back here. Oh yeah, there's always always battle scars every single race. You know, we're replacing bumpers and fenders and bodies. So, uh, you know, it always ends up torn up after every weekend. I bet. So we, uh, you know, we talked about the short course stuff, now we're on the desert side. This is a trophy truck that I raced down in Baja, the Mint 400. Um, you know, it's pretty much unlimited. You could do kind of whatever you want with the truck as That's chassis so wise. Uh, there is a tire limit, it has to be 42 inches, but uh -huh. uh, other than that, it's unlimited. You can really go wherever you want with it. That's the one thing that always blew my mind about the off-road uh, desert scene is it's unlimited. Like there's almost no racing series that's like that. Just any suspension travel, design, chassis, well, you guys all kind of find the same overall dimensions, just like kind of the best of both worlds for wheelbase and, and uh, track. Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's unlimited, but when you look at all the trucks, they're they really the close together. <laughs> yeah. So it's, uh, you know, it hasn't evolved that much, but I mean, these things are amazing what they do. They'll go through, you know, four foot whoops at 140 miles an hour. So, and they weigh <laughs> almost 7,000 pounds. So it's a lot of mass <laughs> moving, but uh, they are a lot of fun to drive. So if this one just went Vegas to Reno, what's up with that one? So this one we have a pretty much a complete truck. This race the Mint 400 last. Okay. Um, everything's complete on it right now. Mm -hmm. And something that's kind of different about desert racing that's unique is we have to carry pretty much every spare on the truck because we're. <laughs> so you got a whole truck bed of parts. Sometimes we're 200 miles away from anybody that could help us. So we have to carry drive shafts, alternators, starters, spare tires, all that stuff to fix it on the course so we can get going again. So like you have two spare tires, like how many spares do you say you need like per race? Do you change like one tire or 10 tires? Um, you know, it just depends on the course, how rough and rocky it is. But I mean, we always carry, uh, every chase truck has four tires with them and we have two on the truck itself. So once we get a flat, we'll pull up to a chase truck, throw another tire Swap on and out. then take off. Wow. How long does it take to change one of these bad boys? Um, in the pits with our guys doing it, we get full fuel, which is 94 gallons and two tires in 40 seconds. But on the course, I have my 94 co gallons of gas. Yeah, oh so my God. a lot of fuel. And then my co-driver, when we're out on the course, he could jump out and change a tire within a little over two minutes by himself doing it. Wow. Well, what are you doing? Just hanging out? I just hang out, get some water, get ready to go again. <laughs> <laughs> I take the easy way out. <laughs> so obviously, one of the most interesting parts of these trucks is the suspension. Yeah, I mean, everything on this truck is built just massive, over the top, just to make sure it, it sure holds it together. Like it. So uh, one of the things we got is these Fox Shocks uh, 4.0s on here. 
Um, and Fox really works well with us to, to build these things and make sure that we can go through four foot whoops at 130 miles an hour and make sure that they stay cool. They'll get up to about 400 degrees, the shock oil in these things. Really? And uh, we have temperature gauges in the truck. So once we get there, we got to know that we got to back down um, to make sure that they'll last throughout the whole race. Oh, that's nice. So one thing that's cool about a uh, trophy truck race, and I have a co-pilot who uh, you know sits right seat. He looks over all the GPS, all the notes, pretty much tells me every single corner, every rock, to make sure we don't get any flats. Uh, goes over all the gauges, and changes wise, your flats, and changes the flats when I get those. So, <laughs> so you know, I like fault. I like to stay nice and comfy in here. He could he could handle that. Dude, check out this gas pedal. So I'm guessing you gotta keep it in place when you're flying over these jumps, huh? Yeah, I mean when you're hitting whoops all day long, I mean your foot always <laughs> wants to bounce off. So we pretty much built um, you stay a in throttle it. pedal for my shoe that fits perfectly in there. That's so that's awesome. that's pretty unique about this truck as well. So you got a lot of different trucks running in a lot of different places and it takes just a ridiculous amount of support, I'm sure, right? Yeah. Like you got these big rigs which are doing the short course races, but what I always find more impressive is the desert racing where you can't just drive this thing down a dirt road, so you got to bring everything uh, in your chase trucks or open trailers so you're more maneuverable. Yeah, for what we do for desert, I mean, you got to be on, on the road all the time, so we take down about you know, six F-350 Ford trucks that are fully six loaded <laughs> with, uh, you know, boxes in the back with I all the tools, like two. everything. And then uh, we also have a, a two free runners that we use to chase on the roads. And also this is what we use to go down and mark the course to mark our notes so we're ready for race day. So this is like a practice truck. It's essentially a trophy truck with three seats and air conditioning. Pretty much this is a, a trophy truck with a cab with air conditioning. Oh, Something man. really nice to go drive around for uh, about 4,000 miles we spend in this thing Good Lord. and uh, getting ready for the race. So you say you got a bunch of chase vehicles, six of them actually, <laughs> are any of them here? Yeah, we got a couple out back. We'll take you out there, uh, okay. show you what they're all about. Cool, let's go. This is one of the chase trucks we were talking about. Right. Um, pretty much has every spare part that we need for the truck. So kind of in here, we just got all the fluids, all mm. the little stuff we need, you know, just nuts and bolts, rod ends, Kind of, we just carry pretty much everything on the truck that we need in case we break down. We got generators um, in case we need a weld. Mm -hmm. It also has 100 gallons of fuel in it. So every pit stop will drain the fuel here into the race truck and then take off. So you say you have six of these things. Are they all identical or each truck have something different in them? They're pretty much identical what we stock them with. Some of the trucks with spare parts where we don't have uh, as many trannies and stuff, so we'll, we'll space them out on the race course in certain spots. So they're like kind of leapfrogging through yeah, the course. Yeah, so they'll fuel us, and then once we take off, they'll leapfrog, pass one more pit, get ready for the next one. Do that all the way down the Baja Peninsula. Well, thanks a lot, Bryce. This is yep. an awesome facility. You guys are building insane trucks. I would love to go for a ride in one of these things just to even get a glimpse of what it feels like. Well, why don't we uh, jump in this thing and uh, show you a little bit of what these things can do. Here? One of the most important things about high performance driving is proper maintenance. You never want to show up to the track with an inconsistent brake pedal. So always make sure to bleed those brakes and top off the fluid. Man, what an awesome shop full of race prep trucks and the convoy of support vehicles that goes along with it. Bryce and his crew are pumping out some amazing builds and they got the championships to prove it. Catch us next time on Garage Tours.